praying for a miracle. Worshippers at the Lower Dafei Catholic Church sing hymns to protect the symbol of their faith. But their prayers are not answered. The government coming to demolish it is difficult for us to bear. We are Christians. We have never opposed the government. Why do they not let us believe in God? There are thousands of churches in Zhejiang, a province of eastern China. Christians there have been surprised by an escalating campaign over the last year to remove outdoor crosses, says U.S.-based activist Bob Fu. So far, over 1,500 uh, crosses of um, uh, churches had been forcefully removed. A number of uh, pastors, believers had been uh, beaten up, and uh, many of them are still uh, even in prison. Pastor Bao Guohua on the left and Xin Wenxiang on the right, and at least five others, were detained recently for alleged corruption. Their lawyer says they were targeted for refusing to remove the gold cross atop their newly built church. This man, President Xi Jinping, is believed to be personally behind the campaign, according to China Watchers. It is not surprising that given uh, Xi Jinping's um, nervousness about so-called collusion between opposition forces both within and outside China, that uh, the crackdown, high-level crackdown, uh, the removal of the crosses uh, in Zhejiang and other provinces um, will go on. Uh, perhaps it will even get worse. For Christians in Taito village, it already has. The demolition crew has caused much anguish. Church leaders say the campaign may even turn peaceful worshippers against the Communist Party. This community, for one, remains defiant, vowing to erect another cross. Juliana Liu, BBC News.